Welcome back everyone. Good morning. It's a, a beautiful Saturday morning here in South Florida, just outside of Miami. It is the uh, the gringo and the Cuban. I am the gringo, Mark. And I am the Cuban, Willie. Excellent. Today we're going to be smoking for you an Arturo Fuente short story. You may have heard of the Arturo Fuente series. They are uh, based off of... Uh, our favorite author, Ernest Hemingway. There's all sorts of different ones and all the names have literary type ties. This one is called The Short Story, as you might guess, because it is in fact kind of a small cigar. It's a Perfecto that is a 4x49 and it's in a, a nice, rich Cameroon wrapper. I would say this is a nice, I'm not going to call it really dark brown, but, uh, but getting there, wrapper. I'm thinking that this will probably be uh, medium strength. It is uh, from Dominican. And I know that this is a highly rated cigar. Willie, I believe Cigar Aficionado um, recently gave this a 91 overall rating. So I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting in and, and smoking it. Any any thoughts from you? No, I just uh, never seen a cigar um, this shape or constructed in this manner. Well, Perfectos are not super common, but they are kind of fun and I think we're gonna have a good time with this one today. As you can see from the shape, um, it comes down to this little nub tip. This is where we're gonna be lighting it, and some people think you have to snip that off, but you really don't. The, the best way is to just, <laughs> such a dork. The best way is to just light the tip, and then it'll expand into the rest of the cigar. Say nub tip again. <laughs> Anyways, um, Just uh, not a lot of uh, a lot of different uh, flavors. I'm detecting off the wrapper. Just uh, just nice aged tobacco, essentially. Are you uh, are you picking up anything? Nope, very neutral. Very neutral. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's give it a cut, and we will uh, we'll light in. Now, Mark, as you're cutting your cigar, um, I know other cigars we've. When we've lit them, we like to uh, toast the end, as you like to say. That is correct. Um, we do not do this with this one, do we? No, not with this one. This one um, is so small that we're just going to be lighting it up, and it, it'll be good to go that way. Thank you. Uh, so with that said, while you're cutting, let me go ahead and just get this lit. i a little trouble with this lighter lately, but... A good lighter. Excellent. And we just light the tip. Just light the tip, and you're good to go. Now, I'm going to say after the first draw, excellent quality. You can taste the aged tobacco. Um, it's very thick smoke, very smooth smoke. Uh, I look for there to be some flavor transitions as we get into this little fat part of the Perfecto, but uh, really nice off the initial there draw. Easy draw, I should say, too. Uh, Willie, why don't you go ahead and take a puff and see if, uh, if you're picking up anything. I'm really impressed with it so far. Uh, Arturo Fuente, you know, you're not going to go wrong. No, it's solid flavor. It's, um, as far as the construction, and I really wasn't paying attention when you were talking before, it's very, um, really solid cigar. Not a lot of uh, give to it. Yeah, well, you know what, speaking of construction, I didn't comment on that. Um, you know, very minimal veins. It's tightly packed. Mm -hmm. Just the slightest give to it, which is absolutely perfect. I will say this wrapper is just a little toothy, which is nice. Willie, do you know what, a, uh, as our resident Cuban and cigar expert, do you know what a toothy wrapper means? Um, yeah, that's kind of like, what, like Snoop Dogg? I think Snoop Dogg's a toothy wrapper. <laughs> no, heck, you're going with that. <laughs> no, not exactly. Uh, it's got just you know, a little bit of bumpiness to it, a little kind of a, a rustic feel. Um, some of the cigars that uh, that we've smoked together, you'll see, are you know very very smooth, silky wrapper. This one, 
not so much, but uh, that uh, is not indicative of anything other than uh, the choice of, of Arturo Puente, and it smokes great. So with that said, folks, let's, uh, let's get into it just a little bit. We'll be back as soon as uh, we get into the first third. We'll let you know what we find. Thank you, and we'll be back soon. Welcome back. We are into the first third of the cigar. As you can see, the burn is very nice. Started off just a little wonky, but it always does on Perfectos, and it's evened out. Does not require any touch-ups whatsoever. I would say that uh, the flavor has matured a little bit as we've gotten into the first third. Uh, you know, the initial uh, impression of the aged tobacco um, being the predominant flavor still is there, for me anyways. The smoke is beautiful, it's very rich, uh, it's thick, very easy draw. Um, I would say what has been introduced in this uh, first third has been a, a light coffee flavor. I can detect some. Yeah, that was the flavor I was thinking of. I coffee. Put my tongue on it. <laughs> Thank you, Willie. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, I'm done. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, the, uh, that, that little bit of coffee, you know, that's that's excellent. Um, you know, I, I think that uh, this cigar is uh, is living up to the expectations I had for it. Look at the shine on my head. Oh man, look at this thing. I, you know what it is, folks? You're looking at this, and it looks like I'm like I'm Murray from uh, the Mary Tyler Moore Show. In, in real life, I actually have some hair up here, but with the sun shining down on it and it being kind of thin to begin with, it looks like I've got none. So, um, you're like, damn Bruce Willis here, man. It's like Bruce Willis. Yes, okay. I, I'm sure. Pardon Bruce, the interruption. Yeah, Bruce, Bruce sees a mirror when he sees you. That's 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 for sure. <laughs> Somewhere Bruce Willis is rolling over, going, "Oh my God, I, please don't let me look like that guy." Um, with that being said, I have no idea where uh, where I was at and talking about this. <laughs> Just go ahead there, Murray. <laughs> Murray. Uh, I would say though that the strength overall on this is a solid medium. Um, I was thinking this might be a medium to full as I was starting to smoke it, but it's, it's really kind of holding at a medium, but it's really nice, really enjoying this. Uh, it, uh, it's interesting between the two cigars, uh, Willie's is, uh, burning a lot quicker than mine is, which, uh, I don't quite understand. Um, but... They know what I'm talking about. Do, do you see what I have to put up with, folks? This is uh, th this this is Willie. Anyways, um, his is burning a lot quicker. Mine is uh, is taking a little bit more time, <laughs> but both great. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get into the second uh, third. See if there's any flavor transitions. We'll get back to you. We are back into the second third. As you can see, my ash is holding on very nicely. Uh, Willie's just fell off just a moment before we came back. The burn is razor sharp, which is perfect. Willie, yeah, perfect burn. Um, no complaints about this cigar whatsoever. It is, uh, it's holding up perfectly, beautifully. I would say that there has been um, a bit of a transition. In addition to, um, you know, just that, that nice aged tobacco, which again remains the predominant flavor, I would say that uh, I'm picking up um, maybe a little bit of cedar and also uh, some nuttiness. This is, uh, you know, just, just a solid cigar. I'm not really tasting the coffee anymore. Are you? No. I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm lost for words with you mentioning nutty again. But turn, turn this way. I feel like Sigourney. Don't I look like Sigourney Weaver? Because that guy's the alien. Look at, look at that. <laughs> All right. like All right. So this this episode is is rapidly becoming my receding hairline episode. Um, <laughs> that's okay. You have to two pay for this. Yeah. No. 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 No two pay for me. Um, anyways, uh, you know, I would say that uh, the finish on this cigar lingers nicely. Uh, you can taste 
you know, the, I can still taste the flavor from the last puff. Uh, this is just a, a really enjoyable smoke. Not a lot of complexity to it though. Uh, I was thinking there might be a little bit more in the way of complexity. Looks like Willie is touching up his just a little bit, although I don't know why it was hey, burning bro. nicely. Stop burning. Stop burning? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's odd. Um, we'll have to see if that, uh, if that happens on mine. I don't see that as an issue though. It's burning really nicely. As a matter of fact, I think you can slide this wrapper off while you're messing with that lighter. Um, on a Perfecto like this, the wrapper should just, yep, and it does just slide right off without peeling because of course it's thicker in the middle than it is at the, uh, at the cap. So it just slides right off. Um, you know, I don't know for some of you people who really enjoy wrappers, this is just a nice classic look, not too big, you know, very, uh, very rich in detail, raised lettering, not a big deal, but, uh, you know. A lot of people say the first thing you taste with is your eyesight because you take a look at it and this is a uh, an appealing looking cigar uh before we get into the final third willie is there anything you'd like to add uh no i um no a lot of insight from our resident cuban willie um thank I'm you still, for that. i'm still sigourney weaver every time you look at me look uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's see how long this ash holds on, and uh, we'll be back with the uh, the final third. I keep looking down for my handy remote control. At some point, I'm going to learn to actually hold on to this and not have it on the camera so that I'll look a little bit more slick. Obviously, that is not today. Watch, I'm a ninja. A ninja. All right, we are in the uh, the final third. Smoke is now starting to get a little hot for my taste. Oh yeah. Um, I think this is probably a good place to call it. Overall, I'd say this was a very enjoyable smoke though. In the uh, the final third, um, I wouldn't say there was really any flavor transition from the uh, the second third. Still picking up that uh, that cedar. Um, still picking up a, a little bit of. Uh, that, that nuttiness to it, maybe maybe hazelnut is uh, what I'm thinking it is. And just that rich aged tobacco. Uh, again, the, uh, the burn has remained razor sharp. So great construction. Willie's is yeah. looking real good too. No issues. I, I did not have to relight mine at all. I'm not sure why Willie's went out. That was really weird. It was burning okay. Um, but this one, burning perfect. No issues whatsoever. You know, Willie, I... I would be remiss if I left out one thing about uh, cigar smoking that I, that I haven't mentioned so far. And that is, uh, you know, enjoying a quality smoke with a good friend. It yeah. always makes it more fun. If you're smoking by yourself, hey, that's great too. You know, you can uh, just relax and enjoy nature. But if you have uh, good company and good smoke together, that's the best. I agree. Nothing like uh, having a smoke with a friend and sharing it with you guys. There you go. I definitely recommend getting the Arturo Fuente short story. You can't go wrong. If you liked this video, give us a like down below and subscribe. We'll be coming out with, uh, with more cigar reviews. And again, this has been uh, the Cuban and Gringo. This is Mark. And this is Willie. Signing off until next time. Happy smokes.